Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my walkthrough for the Japanese demo of Freedom Wars. And we are continuing right from where we left off. On the last episode, we customised our AI partner, which you can see here on the right hand side. And we also had to put up with a lot of text and menu navigation. And then we had a bit of a training session at the end where we fought some, well, enemies that weren't really enemies because they weren't attacking me and looked at the controls and stuff like that. Looked at uh, switching to my gun and back to my blade, doing some jumping with the fawn and things like that. So don't forget to check that out if you've missed it, but let's continue on for now. <laughs> ナビ no idea what you're saying, mate. No idea. I think we've got a new menu now. So let's check it out. Try and figure out what it is. Oh, I think these are weapons or something. There we go, we've got a new mission now. I think it's another training mission, so we'll start this. Loving the music of this game. It's funky. Can't see me, but I'm bopping along. <laughs> So hold down X to run. What am I supposed to aim for here? There we go, so you can keep tapping R to use your phone to scale high walls which is handy of course Switch to my gun with the down on the d-pad The only thing I don't like so far is that the right analog stick seems to be super sensitive, so I'm always like missing my target more or less. It says L to lock on. Oh, there we go. But then the character doesn't auto like direct itself at the enemy, which is weird. So it doesn't really feel like a lock on. Oh, 
Heal down. Controls kind of feel a bit awkward, but it might just be that I'm not used to them yet. Okay, so... Use my fawn with R. Got level 1, level 2. Whoa, is it actually active or is it just like, whoa? Don't close the door on me. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm on the ceiling. I need to switch to my blade, really, don't I? Oh, there we go. You've got to hold down um, R, uh, L, sorry, to actually focus your character on it. Well, I chopped off something. I chopped off his leg, I think. Oh no, I chopped off his arm. There we go. Let tap L again to change the lock on. There's a hand. Oh, I can pick up the hand. Can I pick up the bones? I can pick up other things as well. Sweet. Your hand is now mine. Not sure what this is. Like weak spots, I guess, or something. Let's see. Ah, you can pull it. What does it do? Oh, made it fall down. supposed to do that. Haha! <laughs> Messed up a bit there. Oh! You can shoot it while you're on it as well. Still getting used to the controls like but having fun so far. Come here, person! I'll save you! But I do need to, like, gather some of the parts that I broke off. How do we get up there with our little person? Can we use the phone still? There must be stairs around this side or something. Yes, there we go. Oh, you can! Oh, sugar! I ran into the wall! <laughs> you can run while holding them, but you do seem to lose control. Like, like I can't really turn, I've noticed. So yeah, be careful. Don't run into the wall like I did. I've got all stars again. Let's 
some more time taken off my sentence. A very small amount of time, but still time nonetheless. お疲れ様でした。先ほどのボランティアで再生プログラムを終了しました。再生プログラム終了に伴い、トガリコ管理メニューに新たな機能が追加されました。追加されたコードは武装整備です。武装整備を使用すればボランティアに結構する。is this where you can select to bring your AI along with you or something? Sweet. There we go, another new option. So this is where we change weapons, I guess. First weapon, second weapon. Oh, I can't change it at the moment. What's this option do? Ah, this is like items taken into the field with you. Go on. Oh, so now I've got two grenades. So you can say it looks like at the moment I can only take two extra items into the field with me. So I've equipped two grenades. And I don't have anything I can equip in the second slot yet. Let's have a look at this other option here. Something to do with the abductors. Not too sure what though. Is it stats of ones I've faced before? Or how many I've killed? Or something? I don't know. Is this like, this might be recording equipment, perhaps, this one? Um, like you can save or record equipment, let's just see. Because it's not changing or anything, so yeah. Perhaps it is, but I'm not too sure. Right, what's this second option? This looks like the equipment of your AI teammate. Again, it looks like I can't equip anything on him at the moment, but we'll just go through just in case. I think this is like the way they act. So I'm not too sure what that one is. That looks like heal, attack, look for items maybe, and then attack. And this is like... I don't know, heal, attack, and run. I'm not too sure what those symbols mean. Again, don't read Japanese. I guess I'll leave it to the default option that it's set to at the moment. Try and figure it out that way, rather than mess about with it. Again, this looks like you can register equipment and save um, certain setups. So let's see if there's any new quests. No, it looks like everything's done. So let's try talking to him again and see what happens. Kenny Kaiko Shinsei Nakano. 
航天案内申請には大モニターからアクセスができます。Ah, okay, so we can actually use that screen. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at these menus, try and figure them out. Ooh, well, headphones with little speech bubbles and stuff like that. Is that to do with the voice commands, maybe, or something? Well, I'm not sure what that did. Did something. Maybe I unlock things, like I. Because I. It says. I think it says that it costs points, and I selected it, and then. Yeah, I don't know. If anyone knows what that is, please leave a comment in the comments section. I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at these other options, though. Ah, clothes and stuff. Um, this is where you can actually, well, um, customize your character further and give them clothes and things. Let's see if it'll let me do anything at the moment or not. Maybe I have to buy them, or ah, okay, scars and things. I can have a massive plaster on my head if I want. No, let's get off that. Let's see this option. I can have a barcode. Can you, like, move it around, though? On your body or something? Let's just see. That goes on the face. Let's oh, no, I don't want the barcode, though. Can I not, like, have it on my back or something? Because I'd love to have GGK on my back. For Gadget Girl Kylie. Haha, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Um. They seem to be all on the head. Hmm. Not unless... Ah, now we've got white letters. Now we've got numbers. How do I change? I don't want the letter on my face. I might have the scar though. The scar's better than the letter and I don't know how to get the letter off so. Let's see what this is. Perhaps this is like, this one is clothes. Let's have a look. No, it's gone back to the face option. Ah, oh, no, here we go. Can you have multiple letters though? That's the question. There we go. Alright, okay. 
right, okay, that rotates it. And that's the size. But I can't seem to have... I'd want more than one. I'd want it going running down the back saying GGK. <laughs> but it won't let me. Should just have number one. I am totally number one. <laughs> I'll just leave that for now. Right, what's this option? Oh, this is hair again. So this is like for editing your character all over again, basically. What's this? New. Oh, can I have a mask? That's creepy. A helmet. Can I have shades? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have shades. Starting to look badass, guys. With my scar and my shades. Ah, I can change the colour of different sections of my clothing. Black. White. White. Black. Now what's this? Oh, that's hair colour again. So what's the... Top option is hair colour. Bottom option is... Oh, here we go. The highlights that I missed. Which I would like... There we go. Eyebrows again. Eye colour, which I've already done. I'm just going through each one because I want to make sure there's nothing new in each tab. That's the blush or the cheek colour. Ah, uh, this is helmet colour, I think. So there's a heck of a lot of customization options. What's that doing? Oh, that's the rims of the glasses. I'm gonna have white. So you can even change the color. I don't know what that's doing. Oh, the color of the shades. So like if you equip something, you can even change the colors of that as well. Wow, this is so in depth. You can make so many unique characters in this and that's it I've gone through I can't customize my AI at the moment but I think I look pretty badass now and we've got this new feature here let's have a look at this right uh, so this is where you can change your gender So let's check out my character now. This is what I look like. I think I look pretty cool. I've gone for a white and black theme with the number one on my back. As I said, I would like it to say GGK on the back, but I couldn't figure out if I could have more than one letter. Oh, what's going on? Well guys, I think I'm going to stop this episode here and on the next episode we shall continue on with this demo. So don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more Freedom Wars on the Sony PlayStation Vita. As always, take it easy guys and thanks for watching.